Okay, this is the maiden of the Cessna TTX. I've done the range checks and all the other checks. I think all that's left now is to take off. All going well. I'm in safe mode. Low rates. Let's see how this bird handles. Ah! What the hell happened there? Safe mode, not working. Ah. Not good at all. Not good. Disaster. Disaster. This is the remaiden of the Cessna TTX. Hopefully, I've got everything set okay now. We're up. Wowee. Okay, this is good. Got a 1300 3S, you know, safe mode is on. Flying quite nicely. After my first debacle. Okay, bring in for landing, see how that goes. I'm taking it off safe yet. Alright, not too bad. Went well. Even with my dodgy Flintstone tyre. Hey guys, so you've probably seen the the awesome stack that I had and uh, I've now attempted to repair the, the plane. You can see the front's all bubbled because I had to dip it in boiling water which brought all the foam back to its original setting. It's lowered the front which was always a problem with this plane and the prop being so close. So I put a Fred Flintstone wheel on the front which, you know, works I've tested it doing some taxiing it's a little bit rough but we'll see how it goes I had to uh, do some serious glue work in the front I've lost the cowl at the front you can't get spares for this so <clears throat> we'll see what happens but what hap what caused it was safe had the elevator going in one direction and the receiver sorry the transmitter doing the opposite so she just went upside down, looped and straight into the ground. We'll see how she flies and I get out again. I did have some cracking in the wing which I've hot glued. Doesn't quite join as it did, but hey, it's in. Let's see how it goes. Guys, I've just finished the build on a Hobby King Cessna TTX. Uh, wingspan 1100 millimeters, 700 millimeters in length. Um, required a receiver and a transmitter and a battery, which um, I'll show you in a minute. But um, the key thing is, I'm going to mod out these wheels because the reviews have said that these just don't work unless you've got a bitumen runway, which I rarely get access to more grass and gravel and cricket pitches 
that's an Australian cricket pitch and uh, the receiver I've put in it so with one hand is the Spectrum AR636 mounted that way with safe and AS3X enabled and the, my E-Flight 1300 milliamp three cell battery uh, with flaps etc and a three blade prop as you probably saw haven't flown it yet I'll be filming the maiden and I'll show you what I have to do with the AS3X and safe because this is not a Spectrum Hobby King plane so I needed to hack the model well not hack the model but copy the model from a similar profile and enable the safe and AS3X hopefully it works but testing so far has shown it does and I'll show you some of that soon okay so I've powered up the plane on the DX9 and uh, everything should be set up ready to roll so in terms of safe I think that's on at the moment I've got that on the back switch just between safe and experience no intermediate so we should see and hear it as we turn beyond the threshold the safe will want to correct us up and down and the rudder seems to be working okay now turn on to experience mode probably hear nothing the AS3X doesn't kick in until throttle is enabled which I've got safe model on which I will have to hold on to this will be interesting I think that's enough Yep, so that's enough. Turn the throttle cut off. Now you should be able to hear it. I'll come back around this side. There's 3X. So, I've got that enabled. Three stage take, take off and landing. The five second delay. with some mix enabled in the we'll get into flaps and you can see there just with the way these flaps have been um, measured in this in the manual as per the measurements and I've added a bit of an elevator on the landing flaps, a bit of up elevator of just 10%. We'll see how that goes with a five second delay between, not a delay that takes five seconds to switch to the full um, change from no flaps to takeoff and landing. I'll show you that. Take off, Take off. five seconds, landing, landing five seconds. <laughs> All right, I'll show you how I program the AS3X next and the safe. So this is how I enabled safe and AS3X on the AR636 Spectrum receiver in a Hobby King plug and fly plane. The first step was to find a model that is enabled on the Spectrum website and that closely resembles the plane that you want to um, use the AR636 in with SAFE and AS3X. So I found one that was very similar, the Cherokee 1.3 meter, and there's the model number there. So you import that into the Spectrum program uh, software. And once you've installed that, you've uh, updated the firmware on your Spectrum receiver. Uh, you then need to export this 
to a file uh, on your computer. So it is a strange step. You import it and then you export it um, so that the safe model builder, which I'll show you next, can enable safe and AS3X. So export the model and then open up the safe model builder, which is this piece of software, and load it. So load the Cherokee SRM file and then set it up as per your plane install. In my case, I had the pins towards the left labeled towards the sky, which you would have seen in the first part of the video. And then you step through each of these tabs to enable what you need for your transmitter. I didn't touch any of this. Um, I didn't touch any of this other than I think I enabled the panic uh, tick boxes so that panic is always available and you can program that later on your tra uh, transmitter. Uh, and set panic mode to auxiliary 2, channel 7, reverse the function which was similar to my Apprentice Mini S. So I just copied that. Uh, and then I didn't touch any other settings. So that's as it is. Um, we've got to see how it flies. But I think that's it. Um, so I then, um, so that then saves this to the SRM file. And then you then load the SRM file that you've now updated through the safe model builder you then import it back into the spectrum programmer connect your receiver via the programming cable power it up there's lots of other videos on how to do this and then it updated the receiver and then i i tested it uh, as i showed you before so at this stage it seems to be working and uh, we'll see how it goes in the maiden i'll put all the links to the different pieces of software and the Hobby King plane itself and we'll see you soon in the Maiden. All right before I do the Maiden I forgot I needed to mod the wheels so here it is. Um, so I've taken those skirts off, these ones, which left very little tire exposed and I've just put them back on. I just get bigger ones but they don't fit in this little groove here. I've seen others, Captain Blotch, I mod the front, but I'm not going to do that. I bought wheels, wheel collars, so they're going to keep the tyre on, the wheel on hopefully. So they're loose enough, I think. So that should hopefully work. Let's see it upright. Here's the upright position. Um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't look as good, no doubt. But I'm thinking it's going to work and not rip off the skirts on gravel or grass. I might put bigger wheels on later, but we'll see how, how it goes. So this is the the tick box that I missed in reversing the elevator and when I reversed it on the DX9 it didn't reverse it in safe so I had the elevator going one direction and the safe wanting to go the other so now that I've ticked that I don't have to reverse it on the transmitter and safe and the um, joystick all operate in the same direction hopefully problem fixed Nice. It's hitting the grass there. You can see 
clearance on grass is not good. There is no clearance. It takes a little bump to get her in the air. Alright. Let's do this again. I said for five. Flat Lap down. Let's load past. Good little skull bird. Alright. Okay, I'll check the battery. See, 64%, unless one of the cells is down. No, 3.8, so I still got a bit more in her. This must on takeoff. Take a fair drain out of the battery. I've got the AR636, safe and AS3X enabled. I'm working fine. No wind today, so I can take off in any direction. High rate, mid rate. Ruffle cut off. Yeah, she skips up when she hits a bump. Those three X kicking in there. Flying really nicely. Safe mode is off. Safe 
Oh, yeah. I'll bring her in. Landing flat. There we go. Maiden complete or remaiden after the crash of the Cessna TTX. Flaps up. Ruffle cut off. 